Hill comes out again, and this is a pretty good hit with the wall. A couple of cars. That's Jacques Lazier. And the report is that that's Hearn. Very difficult to tell from behind. Yeah. Richie, boy, he, he struggled just trying to get a ride here. And Lazier, the safety crew, is right there with him, looking underneath to make sure there's no fire. So two cars getting into the wall off of turn two. And, Paul, as we watch the replay run, you can see as you get through the turn that he's already high in the gray area. Now watch, he's on the outside. He's up in that gray area. There's no grip up there. You have to be in that black area where the rubber is. Looks like Jacques Lazier turns around. Ends up just locking up the brakes, trying to miss the accident that's in front of him. And he scared the daylights out of Jacques Lazier, who just jumped all over the brakes. And as a result, he spun. Let's go down. Jerry Punch is now with Shigi Aki Hattori. And Paul, the third driver to come back here in the garage uh, area. Shigi, uh, what puts you out? Well, uh, beginning of five laps, car was good. Then I don't know why after 10 laps and... Uh, like a field, uh, same as uh, out of gas, and then we changed uh, field tires and everything, but uh, we couldn't fix. Uh, could be uh, we had a uh, field pump problem. So field pressure, can you get back at all? Can they fix it? Uh, no, you know, it's still in a field, uh, field pressure went down, and, uh, so we couldn't do nothing. Okay, Shiggy's out of it here, uh, Bob Jenkins. And the good news out on the track, we're told, is both drivers are out of those cars. Indeed, Richie Hearn and Jacques Lazier have both exited their cars. 